Well, with everything going on last week, from the Bills-Patriots game and, of course, the coin flip on Thanksgiving, the officials, it happens from time to time, but we're under more scrutiny than we have seen, well, really, in recent years. It was a week when everybody had solutions or wanted to talk about solutions. The last thing everybody needed was another game decided at the very end on what seems to be a questionable call. But Seahawks and Jets, buckle up, because... Deja vu all over here. Unfortunately, it's a very nice man. Phil Luckett's crew, they were the ones on Thanksgiving with Pittsburgh. They had this game. First of all, John Kitna hit Caboodle. Kitna to Joey Galloway, 70 yards, beats Aaron Glenn at 7-7. Now, what we're about to see, Tom, is not a replay as Galloway tries to silence the crowd. Yeah, Joey Galloway has tremendous speed. It was one of the things that concerned Coach Parcells. Here again, he gets deep on Glenn. Looks like a replay, but as you said, that's the second touchdown pass catch for Galloway. 57 yards, so why not? Kitten to Galloway again. This time, Glenn, who is one of the very, one of the best in football, makes the pick but turns the ankle badly, had to get carted off. More on him later. Vinny Testaverde under pressure, intercepted by Anthony Simmons. Couple of turnovers set up the Seahawks. This one set him up real good. 36 yards, 28-13 Seahawks. Tenth touchdown of the year by the Seahawks on return. Best in the NFL. Jets next drive, second and goal to one. Curtis, my favorite Martin, appears while well, you tell me. Does he get inside the pile? Appears, but it's a touchdown. But they say, no, it's not a touchdown. But on the next play, Curtis was my favorite Martin. Gets the score on third down. Two-point conversion, no good. 28-19 Seahawks. Tensa Verde, Keyshawn Johnson. Post pattern, 31-26. Tensa Verde, 42 of 63. Breaking a Richard Todd record. Tying a Todd record for completions. 418 yards. Seven and a half to go. The Jets down by five. Tensa Verde to Keyshawn. Flags on Sean Springs. And this looks like outstanding coverage by Sean Springs. Does a good job of getting close to the receiver. Turns back, looks for the football. Does a great job of cutting off the field. He gets the interference call. So the Jets drive fourth and nine. Complete the future court. Jay Bellamy hits him short. Marcells could have kicked a field goal. A lot of people wondering. He's still down by five. 3-12 to go. Wayne Corbett blasted in traffic. And on first and nine, a couple of plays later, the refs try to huddle and get themselves together. On third down, good call. Keyshawn would not have come down in the end zone on third and five. Incomplete. Jets, remember, not down two, down five. Oh, my goodness, it's a quarterback draw. Is it a touchdown? Test of Bernie. Stop right at the goal line. The Ray, no one signaled yet. Top of your picture, no. Bottom of your, no, it's a touchdown to Jets. Parcell, Dennis Erickson can't believe it. Parcell says, Vinny, go for two. But that's not what the issue is. Here's the look. Watch the ball. Watch the helmet. And now they're moving it forward. Oh, boy. You know, they only have one look at it. So let's be defensive on that count. But that one look, not even the helmet was over the goal line. The Jets beat the Seahawks at the very end on the fourth down run that I guess will go down in the books for Benny Testaverde as a touchdown run of five yards, even though it appeared it was four and a half. Afterwards, everyone talked about it. Well, let me ask you a question. How much money you got in your pocket? <laughs> you all, all want to donate everything collectively you've got? I might have an opinion. You know, to lose it on a play like that at the end is just totally disappointing. That just makes you sick.